Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI Ultimate Walkthrough. Okay, so we're gonna start the episode off by teleporting to the Academy. Okay, so now let's head all the way north into the Academy building and let's go uh, talk to the guy where we need to deliver our medals. Okay, so all the way straight here. Alright, so here we go. I'm just uh, turning in my medals to get our next reward, which is Glombolero. Go Glombolero? Is that what it says? 20% of MP for in incoming enemy spells will be absorbed. Well, wow, that's pretty useful. So if you want to rework this item, you can get it to plus 3 and further increase magic defense and your chance of absorbing MP does not go up though. It's probably best used on... It can be equipped on any, any character, so... Somebody that has really low MP, like Jade for example, has really low MP. She might find this useful. And once you do that, now we're going to teleport to the Snarefelt campsite. Okay, so once you teleport here, open the map. And we are going to be heading to the Arborean Highlands, which is just right east of us from the campsite. Okay, here I am. I'm entering the Ar Arborean Highlands right now. And here we are. So let's explore this area. And make sure we collect all the items, uh, defeat all the enemies day and night. Both day and night, you gotta remember that if you want to complete the beastery. And there's also gonna be some rare item, some rare monsters, but I'll probably make a guide on them later so that we can get all the rare monsters in the game. Alright, so let's start by killing some of these guys into our new enemy. Okay, so I'm gonna use pet powers here. I need. Since I still need to get 30 pet powers used, so I'm gonna use this on all three of these guys. Nice. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is boom spell to finish these guys off. Come on. Okay, well, one guy's left, and we can probably finish this guy off with just a normal attack, I bet. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> uh, I already bought that giant on a different island, so I'm just gonna skip him. Go around and see if I can find some items here. Okay, so the first Brucky spot here gives us... Thinking Sense. Okay, so let's head through this underpass. Uh, there's also a statue. I think we fought those at the Royal Library. Same kind. There should be a... Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. We can mount these guys. But we have to kill this guy. Because he's sparkling. And we do have to mount him, so... Let's, uh... Let's finish these guys off with maybe multi-thrust. Hopefully instantly kill them all. No, probably not. No, no, never mind. We need to do that. We need like a stronger attack. Let's go boom. See how much damage this will do. Okay, there we go. Yes, Veronica, good job. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's uh let's jump up here. Okay, so all the way up here. And once you get up here, we have to jump across down. Enter here, and now jump up here to these cliffs. So many, uh, j so much jumping gonna do, but one of them leads to our sparky spot. So we're gonna collect that butterfly wing. And now we're gonna make all our way all the way around from the sparky spot, so we're just gonna keep hopping the cliffs. Okay. Hop here. And let's jump up here now. Until we get all the items on top of the cliff. So this is gonna give us the mini meadow. Okay, so from this treasure chest, we're gonna go back down here and we're gonna run all the way around the cliff and we're gonna hop some more of these uh, cliffs here. Okay, so let's continue forward and we're gonna come up to what looks like to be a bridge. Now, as you can see on the map here, if we go to Sparky Spots, we have one by the first forest uh, and another one by there as well. But we're gonna have to go all the way all the way around to get those. We have to, it looks like we have to go right through Ar Arborea before we can get the other two Sparky Spots. So, we've got everything up until now. All we have to do now is just enter the city. Okay, so don't forget though, if you want to... If you want to fight more enemies, make sure you make it nighttime. Uh, there might be a cutscene, so I might have to turn off my camera here. Who would have thought a place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail? It's... breathtaking. Oh, stop it, you! You're making me blush! Although, 
I suppose the old hometown is pretty amazing. Wait, you mean this is... It is indeed. Welcome to Arborea, home of the Keepers. The ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches. And of Veronica and I. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. The altar in the vision we saw appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. But we should stop off in Arborea before we head up there. Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the Luminary has come to visit. Okay, so there's no um, rocky spots here. So we can just go ahead and start collecting all the items. We're gonna go around town. Uh, first thing, we'll have a cutscene. Oh, great and glorious Idrisil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. The withered leaves fall from your branches, and fresh buds spring forth in their place. One life ends, and another begins. O oh, mighty Mother Yggdrasil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arborea. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent boughs. Well, well, our beloved twins return. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Everyone seems well. Uh -huh. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not taller when last we met? Well, uh, it's a long story. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. Really be. Ah, oh, what a blessed day this is! Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, but the luminary also. I am Benedictus, High Priest of Arborea, and I have waited my whole life for this moment. Holy Father, on our travels, we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. I see. So this Mordigan has corrupted the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Yes, but we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. Ah, it is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the Tree of Life the luminary beside you. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. All is now clear. 
you were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. I will await you there. When you have all six sacred orbs in your possession, come to me and I will show you the way. Okay, so let's go back here and get this chest that I uh, forgot to grab before we went up the stairs. And that's going to give us the mini metal. Okay, now we're going to go right back up there. Okay, so let's head into the item shop here and let's see what items uh, she has to sell us. Alright, so we can buy a zombie's bait here, which um, you can buy them now or you can buy them later in the game once you... Uh, I've acquired a lot of gold. Depends how much. Uh, depends what you're saving up for. If you if you're buying perfectionist pearls, then you'll probably want to keep your gold right now. But until you max out the forge for the achievement, uh, plus three all items in the forge. Or if you're not gonna do that, then you can uh, buy some weapons now if you like. If, but if you're going for all achievements, then you'll you'll probably want to save your gold for now and and buy any other items. Uh, late, later in the game once you max out the forge. I prefer the max out the forge first. Okay, so you can quickly go through that and see if you're interested in anything right now. And I'm gonna grab this chest in here, which is gonna give us a Sainted Soma. Okay, so I'm gonna just go straight ahead. I'm gonna talk to random people and then I'll start my playthrough up at the next house. Okay, so let's go across. Let's enter this house here, the mansion. And we want to turn here and read these. You can read these two books. One of them might be a recipe, or you can just read them if it's not a recipe. Okay, so both of these books are not recipes, but you can read them if you like. And we have pause right beside the books here. That's gonna give us therapeutics. Now let's go climb all the way up the stairs and see what's up here. <laughs> we have a little ghost. Oh, there's a chest hidden right by the bed. Sneaky sneaky, we got a supplicant. I got that from DLC when I pre-ordered the game. I, uh, it was pretty overpowered for the, for the beginning of the game to be honest. Okay, so now let's head down here and see what we can find. Okay, let's continue further down the stairs. And we have two barrels, so let's break this one and get Seed of Sorcery. And going around up the stairs, we can break this pot and collect 58 gold coins and into the first house here. And we're gonna read this book here. There's another book for you guys to read. Okay, so we have two uh, dressers here. Let's open this one. There's nothing in that one. They always do that to us. Oh, we got Celestial Skyn in there. Okay, so I'm leaving the house and I'm continuing further, further up the town here. We're going to enter this house now. So upon entering the house, we have a book here that we can read. Maybe it's a recipe. Nope, it's just a readable book. Once you read that book, we can uh, climb up the stairs or if you, you don't have to read it. I mean, it's not really that valuable. Let's open this dresser. Okay, Elfin Elixir. And that's all that's in this house, so we can leave th this house now. If you talk to this guy right now, he will say you cannot uh, pass through yet, so there's no point in going that way yet. So we'll just continue this way. And we don't want to talk to him just yet, we just want to keep exploring. As you can see from back here, there's a treasure chest right by these pillars, let's grab that. That's going to give us Saint's Ashes. So from that treasure chest, you want to head down these stairs. We're, we're also going to head to the inn right now. And let's head up the stairs from the inn. Where we can open this treasure, this uh, dresser over here and we're going to get magic water. Now if you want to bank your coins, you can do that right now while we're here. Otherwise, um, just uh, keep them on you. But if you have a lot of coins and you're worried that you might die in battle, uh, now's the time to start banking your coins. Okay, so I got an Acolyte, awarded for having at least 10,000 gold coins squirreled away in a bank. And now I got awarded for having at least 25,000 gold coins squirreled away in the bank. And my last Acolyte, awarded for having at least 50,000 gold coins squirreled away in the bank. So that's three Acolytes uh, for having at least 50,000 gold coins in the bank, you get three Acolytes. And once you're done depositing your money, let's head on out.
Okay, so let's head out over here to the Grove of the Repulse. Alright, here we are. So we're gonna find the child over here and we want to talk to her. I'm rather poorly. The doctor said that he doesn't know how to make me better, but I think I might know a way. My grandfather once told me about a magical flower called a wish teria. He said that when they bloom, they grant a single wish. If you ever plan on a trip to the first forest, could you let me know? You might be my only hope. Alright, so we have to find an item for her, but uh, we have to first get to the first forest before we can grab the item so that will be in the next part of the walkthrough. This part is just Arborea right now that we're focusing that we're focusing on. Okay, so now let's head to the save, save your game, and then any items that you need to have duplicated, make sure that you put them on your character. So any item, let's say if you want to have seeds, these are important. Um, if you guys kept all your seeds, yeah, see I should have kept uh, most of mine, I only have Seed of Therapeutics, so, uh, Seed of Sorcery, and Seed of Agility. Make sure that you put these seeds that are in your item bag on your characters except the hero. They all need to be on Jade, Veronica, Rab, Savano, Eric, Serena, all these characters can hold stuff. Basically anything that you need to have duplicated and this is going to take effect later in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some uh, items on my characters and then once I'm done that I'm going to talk to the talk to the priest to begin our storyline. Alright so I'm not too uh, picky about what I want. So I just put up some random stuff and I want to call it a day. Now we have to talk to the priest here and continue our journey. Well, honored luminary, shall we proceed? They tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the Luminary, a child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, one sent to save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name, no. The first was born long, long ago, in the Age of Heroes. At that time, the world of Edria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so, the World Tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend. He went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Veronica, Serena, your friend here is the Luminary reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. <sighs> As for Mordigan, I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of Luminaries, was born to banish. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so before we um, proceed, we're going to enter town now, back town again, because now we have some side quests that just opened up. As you can see on the map, there's already one right beside us. So if we check the map, we have one to our right, and I think that's it from what I see. Alright, so let's go ahead and start this quest. <laughs> that little glitch hop. 
All right, so this is uh, fit as a fiddle. This is gonna give us the butterfly baton. Now, unfortunately, we can't uh, do this quest right now because we have to enter the first forest. So let's go and talk to that little kid again. Okay, so I just entered here again and I'm gonna talk to that kid and get our next quest. So this kid also, we also have to do this quest in the first forest as well. So we're just starting the quest now and then in the next part of the walkthrough, we'll while we do the first forest, we'll complete the quest. So check in the quest catalog, you'll see this, these are the two quests we started. One gives us a healer reward, one gives us butterfly baton. And okay guys, this is going to end this episode of Dragon Quest XI, all of Shaman's walkthrough, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.